All right then gang, so now I want to give you a quick lesson on how to show and hide different elements based on your screen size. Because you might get people viewing your website on mobile phones, tablets, desktops, etc. So certain things you might want to show on small screen sizes but not large and vice versa. Or you might just want to hide things for the whole lot. So as you can see right here, I've already created a container as we saw in the last video. And I've got about six or seven H4s here seven in fact and they've all got a class attribute no classes applied to them at the minute but i've added some text and the text basically says when i want to hide this particular h4 so at the minute they're all going to show for all screen sizes because we've added no classes and we can see all of those right here so we're going to work through each one of these one by one so i can show you how to hide different things for different sizes so this first one right here says hide me on all screen sizes. So if we want to do that and just hide something, regardless of what the screen size is, we just have to apply a class of hide. And very simple indeed. So if I save that now, then we're not going to see that in the browser. You see, it starts now with hide me on small screen sizes. And the first one, which is over here, hide me on all screen sizes, that is display not important. So it's never going to show regardless of the size of the screen. Okay then, so what's the next one? Hide me on small screen sizes. So if I only want to hide something on a small screen size, I can say hide hyphen on hyphen small hyphen only. And that is only going to hide it on small screen sizes. So if I press save and go to the browser, we should still see it here because we're on a large or medium sized screen. Then as we go right down to a small screen size, eventually we shouldn't see it. You see, now it starts with hide me on medium screen sizes. But if we go back up again, we can see there hide me on small screen sizes reappears. So this is the point right here when it starts to hide that top one for small screen sizes. So this would be good for small tablets and mobile phones. Okay, the next one then, hide me on medium screen sizes. All right then, so this class is gonna be hide on med only. All right, so if we save that, this should only hide it for medium screen sizes. Let's have a look. We can see it currently there, but if we just go down a little bit, it should start to hide in a second. There we go. So this is a medium kind of size screen and it's hiding it for that screen size. However, if we go below a medium size screen to a small screen, then we should see it pop back in. Hide me on medium screen sizes. Cool. So we're just hiding it for that medium screen size only. All right then, so what's next? Hide me on large screen sizes. So let's do that one. And if we go over here, you've probably guessed this, hide on large hyphen only. So save that again, and if we go to the browser, then we shouldn't see it on this large screen size, but if we go down, then we can see hide me on large screen sizes is right there, all the way down to mobile size as well, but as we get to a large screen, it pops off, it hides. Awesome. Okay, so that's hiding it on a specific screen size, either medium, large, or small. Now, what if we wanted to hide it for medium and small? Well, I suppose we could give it this and then add a custom CSS rule to hide it on small as well. But instead, what we could do is just say hide hyphen on hyphen med hyphen and down. So if we spell this correctly, hide on medium and down. That means hide it on a medium screen size and also for anything below that. So a small screen size as well. So if we view this in a browser where it says Hide me on medium and small screen sizes. If we make that smaller, then we can see it's gone and it still doesn't appear for small screen sizes. So it's hiding it for the medium and the small, but not large. All right. Okay, then. So what if we wanted to do medium and up? Well, pretty self-explanatory. We can just say hide on med and up and save that. Check out that in a browser. And we're going to see if we go here to begin with, where it says, hide me on medium and large screen sizes. That's currently showing for small. As soon as we get to medium, it's gonna pop away. There we go, and we don't see it on large either. So medium and up is medium and large. 
Okay, so there was one more I was going to show you right here, but really that's not needed because it's only going to do something that any of the other classes is going to do anyway. And this pretty much covers these things right here, everything you're going to need to do when it comes to hiding. We can target either a single screen or say medium and down or medium and up. All right, so now we've got hiding things sorted. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the color palette that Materialize provides us with.